It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where we'll see a brawl inside the AFC West. It's the Los Angeles Chargers and the Kansas City Chiefs, and it comes your way next. A month or two from now, the chilly hand of winter will certainly seize upon the Midwest, but for now, it's a great afternoon for football at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City. Today, we've got a compelling AFC matchup for you, as it'll be the LA Chargers taking on the Kansas City Chiefs. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. But CD, this Chiefs club, you'd have to imagine, well positioned to make a run at repeating as Super Bowl champions. But it all starts and ends with number 15, and that, of course, the reigning league MVP, Patrick Mahomes. And it's not just his talent, as you know, partner, because we've seen that on display. It's his leadership and the trust that the organization has in him to help bring along an offense and turn it into one of the league's best. And meanwhile, for the Chargers, you know, they have the pieces in place. They were a playoff team in 2022. What do you see for them this year? You give this team full health throughout the season, and they have a chance to be not just a playoff team again, but beyond, because they'll scare the heck out of you on the offensive side of the ball. Defensively, that's where they have to start playing a little bit better. Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. So the Charger offense making its way out. And at the controls is the league's second leading passer a year ago. At 25 years of age, out of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. The Chargers just continue to improve and take steps forward under the quiet leadership of Herbert, who's been the most productive quarterback in league history through his first three seasons. Over 4,700 yards last year, he's expecting to crack the 5,000-yard mark in this season. Herbert to throw right away. Got an open man, it's Josh Palmer. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. 14 yards there on the first play from scrimmage. Well, this defense certainly knows they're gonna have their hands full trying to slow down this passing game. Here's an example on the very first play from scrimmage. I think we'll see some different looks, maybe some pressure from different places, but it didn't work there, and it's a quick first down. Now the seven-year veteran, Austin Eckler, and he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. It's second down. Line of scrimmage, the 36 on second and eight. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. That is incomplete. You get a sense of what this game plan might be. They think they can take a few home run shots against this defense. They tried it there on the opening drive, but that ball's incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Here's Herbert. That's caught by the rookie, Quentin Johnston. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Receivers love having the reputation of being go-to guys on third down. And he was fighting like he really wanted to have that reputation, didn't he? I mean, he came very close to making that a first down. Broke the one tackle, but couldn't spring himself free. On is the punter, Scott, here as he gets this one away. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Well, the Chiefs offense now ready to go to work for the first time, led by Patrick Mahomes, the 2018 NFL Most Valuable Player. There's nothing the league's best quarterback didn't achieve last season. Super Bowl trophy? Check. MVP award? Check. League leader in yards and touchdowns? Check. How does he top the season he had last year? I don't know. But Patrick Mahomes, he usually finds a way. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. 
Now a seventh round surprise from a year ago. It's Isaiah Pacheco. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Here's Pacheco once again. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. Complete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Fourth down, so Kansas City sends out Tommy Townsend and the rookie Darius Davis deep for the Chargers. This is fielded at the 27. A very good kick there, but 15 yards on the return. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. The last series form a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Chargers in good field position to start out, first and 10 at their own 42. Justin Herbert looking to pass. Complete to Johnston here. And he's brought down. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive. Good for 15 and a first down. to throw here Herbert that's taken in by Palmer and he's going to be down at the 35 gain of seven and it appears we have a charger shaken up on that last play we'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead Here's second and three. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. On first down, Justin Herbert. Oh, and that is incomplete. Tremendous field position there at a perfect time to do exactly what they did. Take a shot at the end zone. And they went for the big play, just unable to complete it. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. Play action this time for Justin Herbert. And to the right side here, it's Allen. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 18. The Chargers' passing game rolling a bit here. They've got another first. And another thing that makes the comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receiver's breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. Nice chunk of yardage picked up there. Gets around him, and he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Yeah. 
Once more, here's Eckler. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. But when you go from second to four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Herbert off of play action. Throws left side complete to Keenan Allen. And the Chargers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. It'll be a three-yard pickup, and it brings up second and goal. That run didn't get very far, and I think when you're looking at his dimensions, he's a little bit on the smaller side. He's counting on the big guys up front to escort him in, and they couldn't create any kind of space for him, could they? Yeah, didn't get the push they needed. Second and goal from the one. Eckler again. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Chargers. Austin Eckler. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Chargers are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And that makes the score 7-0. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion, guys a little bit I don't, jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. Just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three now and out. have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> A little jet sweep to start the drive. And that is not fooling anyone. He never had a chance to turn the corner there. And they'll go backwards right away. This defense not fooled one bit on that touch pass. And this has become one of those kind of in vogue plays. You know, kind of like the shuffle pass was a few years ago. This one never got off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. These wide receivers, a lot of them, they run like running backs with the ball. But Travis Kelsey! And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A big play on the catch and run, covering 34 yards. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. Obviously, slowing down Mahomes is going to be a tall order. He gets the completion there, but it, what do defenses need to try to do against him? Well, as we saw in the Super Bowl against Tampa Bay, their number one goal was to get him to third down and long situations, not third and manageable, meaning third and four or less, but third and seven or more. There are plenty of those situations because now you can unleash your pass rushers. 
And if you can get that going, get him pressured in the pocket, get him on the move, use those seven behind him to cover, that's how you can play Patrick Mahomes the best, I believe. Now it's Mahomes again. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. For a catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. Boy, how about the speed with which his offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up for the first and goal. Now here's Mahomes. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball in their hands fast in this position, and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. Mahomes to throw on second down. Uh, he's got it. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. That catch good for eight, but still, it's third and goal now. Great footwork there, Charles, to dot the I, stay in bounds, get both feet in. He's probably thinking, though, man, I made a catch like that that close to the end zone. I should have scored. Yeah, there's always a regret when you're that close to the goal line. But let's go back to what you talked about before, getting it. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Kadarius Tony from a yard out. And the Chiefs are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Had the option to hand that one off or run it himself, but instead, a really easy quick pass. I like the way they made a decisive decision to get it right to the receiver. One move later, he's in the end zone. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So I'll leave it at 7 now as they kick it away. Here's Darius Davis on the return. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. He'll get just a yard on the scramble. It's second down. Eckler now between the tackles. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. And the officials here going to pause the game for a second. Looks like there's an injured chief on the field. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to KC. A play fake, and now Herbert to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He was looking for the Pro Bowl wideout Keenan Allen there. And that'll bring up second down. Now it's Herbert. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. Herbert. 
Shepard now. Completes it to Davis. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. They'll fake the handoff. Now Herbert. They finds his target, Allen. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. 25 yards that time. You think about the great receivers in the game, what do they have in common? The ability to create separation in their routes. Whether it's a head fake, a sharp cut, selling a different route, the subtle bump, it's a tough skill to teach. And this is well done here to get open and pick up the first down. And they're going to get him. He sacked back around the 28. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Well, this has been a pretty sizable drive. They've had some success. Finally, the defensive coordinator found some success of his own. I think he just simply said enough of that. Okay, they moved the ball well. We need to force the issue from our end, and that's exactly what he did. Now Herbert, his throw incomplete. Well, partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Here's Herbert. Incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. But we keep stats on everything, don't we? This is one that you don't want to have. That's his second drop right here in the first quarter. Yeah, I was going to say only in the first quarter. Certainly a shift that he wants to right quickly. Cameron Dicker on now to try to field goal. From the right hash. This from 45 yards away. And his kick is indeed good. And they take the lead here now at 10-7. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. 10-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. On the return, it's Washington. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Chiefs offense set to go. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. And yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Mahomes now to throw. And his throw is incomplete. There is no denying they want to get him involved. That's already the fifth time that they've looked his way in this first quarter. So that tells me defensively that they want to insist on going in that direction. Make sure you get your best people in the area to try and take that away. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Now Mahomes. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. His fourth catch already in this first quarter. It's a first down. Oh, 
10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Second quarter from KC. It's the Chiefs in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. So give him two yards there on the completion and it'll be second down. Mahomes to throw once more. A dump down to McKenna. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. Pacheco gets it up the gut. Eric Kendricks in on the tackle. Second and five. Again, it's Pacheco. And maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. A good rip by Pacheco. And you have to go back to 1990 with Johnny Johnson with the Cardinals to find a rookie seventh rounder with more rushing yards than he had last season. The 251st pick out of Rutgers took over to KC backfield with 830 yards in 2022. And running with power. Gonna throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Chiefs. Marquez Valdez Scantling bringing in that one for Patrick Mahomes. And the Chiefs have moved out in front. Who is it, Myrick? Go through his progressions and find the open receiver. I believe we just saw that there. And we admire him just a little bit more when it goes for a touchdown. Butker on for the PAT. And that makes it 14-10. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And it winds up with the Chiefs hitting Painter. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And the Chargers coming out of the field now. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you got to like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side... Maybe a little gas, yeah, right? Yeah, a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting upfield only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. Meanwhile, Hobart's throw there complete to Allen. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. 
That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Now Herbert with it looking to pass. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. The result only four yards there on the play. And that will bring up second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. On second down, Eckler. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier, but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. Herbert on third down now. A little short pass. This is Everett. And he's going to be taken down right at the line. So he stopped for no gain. And that'll bring up fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that one. How about the defense? Figured that one out in a big way. Yeah, they completed it all right and lost yardage. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Out now the Chiefs offensive unit ready to do battle again. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass <laughs> rush. Whether it's the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the ball. We'll see if they can disrupt it here. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. On first down, Mahomes. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Looked like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there, and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it, and they did. Here now is second and 10, again from the 41. To throw, it's Mahomes. And that'll be caught by Tony. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. And again, it's Mahomes. He's going to find his tight end, Gray, complete. Ran the perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion. They would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is. And they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. So the completion gets him just a yard, and it's third and four now. Here's Mahomes to throw. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. But it certainly made a point of getting him involved in the passing game here in the first half. They must have seen something in the scouting that said, hey, we can capitalize on him getting the ball possibly in the open field. And I think in the second half, that may loosen up the defense a little bit to get the running game going back inside. Throwing on first 
first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They go play action. Now Mahomes, short throw, hauled in by Kelsey. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. The Chiefs on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. Here it's third and three. Now it's Mahomes again. He's got his target. That's complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they convert on third and three with a nice gain of seven yards. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Now Mahomes, a dump down to McKenna. Call it a gain of three on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Now here's Mahomes. That is caught at the seven-yard line. Just a gain of a couple there. And now it's third and four. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. And that is incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third. And now they deal with fourth down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Butker's kick here is good. And that moves him up by a touchdown now at 17-10. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the Chargers offense now back out onto the field. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Throws left side complete to Keenan Allen. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 
Herbert with a connection to Allen for a Charger first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. On first down, it's Herbert. Give him another one right back to Allen. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Here's a throw right side taken in by his tight end. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. And that one complete downfield to Allen. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. An explosive 38-yard pickup. How about the first half he's putting together? Well over 100 yards already with that last catch. And to me, they'd be well served to keep looking his way. A number of big plays already in this one. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Again, Herbert. Touchdown, Chargers! Gerald Everett, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. And the touchdown all set up by the big play one snap before, but they finish it off here with a shorter completion, this time for the score. I like how they stuck with what got them there, right? The big pass play. Got the momentum going, right? That's You create it with a play like that, and you come right back with another pass play to finalize things off. Extra point up and good by Dicker, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. Seventeen, seventeen. the score. All even to this point as the kick's away. Now a hit and a loose football. On oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. As that ball got away from him and he saw the opposing team recover it. You felt his pain? Oh, I felt his pain and you know what was going through his head. Tuck it away. Mm. Take care of the ball. All the things he hears all week in practice, he didn't carry it over into the game. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. And the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. review the play the ruling on the field is reversed so that one overturned they say the knee was down and that will not be ruled a fumble the chiefs offense about set to begin this drive and with a little under a minute to play they may be looking to pick up some yardage here maybe try and come up with a field goal to seize the lead before intermission and now a throw on first down there but it's incomplete To the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Throwing now is Mahomes. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they didn't completions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. 
On third down, it's Pacheco. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Mahomes. That's complete to Tony. And he's able to break out a one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Now second and five. Mahomes going to throw. Open on the left side. This is Valdez Scantlin. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Even in today's NFL, when we think of the tight end position now as really a glorified wide receiver, we're still asking a lot of those guys. They have to block as well, and every now and then, they don't come down with the football. Mahomes to throw once more. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. Five yards, now it's third and five. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. They, that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play, one-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. And now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. So nothing separating these two teams as we head to the break all square. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our We EA thought Sports this one would be a close battle report. coming in, Coach. and we have not been disappointed. They're all even to this point. This has the feeling of a game that could go right down to the wire. One mistake or one big play could turn out to be the difference. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? So much of this game is focus and concentration. And whenever I see guys running the in route, I know that in the back of their mind, they're always wondering who's lurking inside that might put a big hit on them as they try and catch the ball. A run by Pacheco on second down. 
four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They go play fake. Mahomes. And that will be incomplete. So a stop here defensively to start this third quarter. Just what's needed in a tie ball game. Yeah, good chance to build back some momentum on the defensive side of the ball. In fact, what they've done is give their offense a nice push in the back as they get ready to take the field. Here's the Chiefs punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. 44 on his first punt, and this is a good kick as well. Returnable here for Davis. It's a net of 40 there. A punt of 48 and a return of 8. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Getting set to go again here on offense. Keenan Allen marches back onto the field. And I know that they double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. And how many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? But it's usually not by himself, is it? Right. Usually it opens it up for other people to have big games as well. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. Second and six. It's Eckler again. And Eckler is going to pick up a Chargers first down as he'll get this up past the 40. Well, they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game, and that's allowed them to move the ball on offense. But I've got to tell you, to watch them run the football and successfully, I'm not taking sides. But to see the ball in a running back's hands, oh, that's football for me. Running on first down, Eckler to the 43, second down. From the 43, here's second down and eight. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 35. A good pick up there, 22. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 35-yard line. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Open man is Palmer. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. 10 more there and another first down. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10, mark him down at the 9. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here, and just load up for it and see what happens. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And he'll get about four there as he takes it from the 10 down to the 6. So that run gets him about halfway home. Yeah, it's now second and goal. The end zone beckons. It looms. They can do whatever they want. Full playbook. Run it again, or they can go play action and try and put it in that way. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Up the middle with Eckler. A nifty move on the run, but ultimately stops short of the goal line down at the two. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. When you look at the geography we're staring at, this part of the field, don't you always think of big backs carrying the football, bruisers trying to pound it in? Instead, 
Look at a little more of a scat back type, and he's trying to make it happen. There they went with the elusive. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. Trey McKinney taking it in from two yards out. And the Chargers are going to take the lead. So this game tied at the half, but we are tied no more. A touchdown there on the opening sequence of this third quarter. And what a great drive put together by their offensive coordinator. He had a plan, and they executed it almost to perfection, coming right out of the locker room. Now they're feeling good about their chances here in the second half. Extra point up and good by Dicker, and they will take a seven-point lead. After the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. On the return, it's Washington. And able to get this out to the 25. And now here comes Kansas City. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. A man who re-signed with the Chiefs back in May. Here's Jarek McKinnon. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Not too shabby for his first carry of the game. That's exactly what most teams are looking for. A really good change of pace back. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air, and defensively, they were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Valdez Scantling in motion right. He'll get an opportunity with it on the touch pass. Oh, and that is well read defensively. A great job of setting the edge, and that little touch pass is going to turn into a loss. Well, I think the hope is, you know, with a touch pass like that, they, maybe you catch the defense off guard, but they were all over that one. And it is the kind of play that works better against certain defenses. And this clearly was the wrong one to run into. Really nice job getting him down behind the line of scrimmage. Now Mahomes throwing the out route here, and it's complete to Kelsey. That, I believe, will put him over 100 yards receiving for the game. Yes, it will. And he's got a first down to boot. We often hear the phrase sure-handed tight ends, and he certainly fits into that category. Plus, he's got a quarterback who knows to look his way when they need a big pickup. And on this play, he finds it for the first down. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 43. To throw, it's Mahomes. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. It's so important to tackle well against these guys. But you and I both know that's easier said than done. When the guy you're trying to tackle Looks like this guy. And it's usually going to take more than one man to get him down, and it did right there. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. That ball is caught. Marquez Valdez Scantling. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. As the field starts to get condensed, the defense likes that a lot because now you don't have as much space to cover but a well-run corner route there. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Here's Mahomes to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That's a pretty play there. Got in at the last second, helped force the ball free, and kept them out of the end zone.
They come up here with another shot from the six yard line and it's second and goal now. Mahomes now to throw. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Well, he'd been targeted quite a bit on this drive. And finally, I think the guys on the defensive side, they said no more. They slapped the double coverage on him. Made it very tough for him to get the ball. Here's Mahomes, third and goal. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Sky Moore from six yards away. And the Chiefs are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. Well, that connection, it looked like they maybe had some pre-play communication. Maybe one of them noticed an area that was open to the defense to get the pass to. When you put the time in, sometimes you have that great silent communication that you just noticed right there because the best quarterback-receiver combos in the NFL, they know how to make those adjustments at the line of scrimmage when they see something pre-play, and they got it done there. Extra point by Butker is on target, and that will tie us at 24. Nothing separating these two sides. 24 all our score as he sends this one away. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. A shotgun snap for Herbert. That's complete to the tight end, Everett. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Ethan. You gotta be kidding me. So pass interference the call, and that does on not look to be going over too well on the defensive side. Or on their sideline, because I believe their head coach is saying right now, hey, you've got to call that both ways. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Now it's Herbert. A little short pass. This is Everett. Only able to gain a couple there, and it's second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Here's a second and eight. On the give, this is Eckler. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of a yard, so it's back to third and ten. When you're lateral to the line of scrimmage, linebackers keep those shoulders square so they can go up and down. But when it's time to go, turn your shoulders just like a running back. Get through the line and hit the runner in the backfield. Herbert off of play action. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First and 10, Herbert. They'll find Everett there, complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. They really love to get him into one-on-one -on -one opportunities, and this is one way, work him out of the slot and create a mismatch. Who's going to cover him? Corner, safety, linebacker? He's got a way to beat all of those positions. Two yards to go, second down. Back to throw here, Herbert. They find his target out. 
be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 17-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And that last reception puts him over 150 yards now on the game, Charles. And now it's not just execution. It's not just performance. It's a mental aspect that's going on because right now, he's got the defense so much on their heels. Got them looking at each other. Who's going to cover this guy? And what kind of coverage can we put out there to try and slow him down? 70 yards on the ground for Eckler here. That's a first down. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. They're going to run this with a tight end. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Brandon, if I wanted to run the football this close to the goal line, I think I'd just turn around and hand it to my tailback. Too many things could go wrong in this situation. I think they're fortunate just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Eckler. Will score. Touchdown, Chargers. And Charles, the second time today that he has hit pay dirt. And once you score the first one, there is that natural tendency, and there's also that, that eagerness to get back there again. Oh, he smells it. This guy smelled the end zone, and twice he's gotten there. Dicker down to tack on the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So that drive in total eight plays. And it's Austin Eckler who finishes things off with a touchdown run. Dicker now as he'll send this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. And out come the Chiefs now. Couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. Now Mahomes gets this into the hands of Gray, the tight end. It'll go as a gain of four, and that'll make it second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Now a second and six. Mahomes going to throw to Valdez Scantling over the middle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. It's the Chiefs with a football butt with work to do on the scoreboard. They trail as we start quarter number four. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. 11 more on that one and another first down. That was good tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And this one is incomplete. Some coaches like to take the shorter, more reliable yardage, and some, they like to go for the big shot. No fear in risking a deep ball there, but it wasn't enough to get them the completion. Now a second and 10. Now 
here's Mahomes. That pass complete to Moore. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 29-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Throwing now is Mahomes. Pitch and catch here to Travis Kelsey. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take what you can guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Now it's Mahomes again. He's got his target. That's complete. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. As long as you go through your proper reads and progressions, the drag route can be one of those old, reliable plays because usually it's good for a good chunk of yardage, as we just saw there. And those guys like it, right? They can get the ball with a full head of steam. Especially against man coverage, because man coverage, they're typically running away from someone and not worry about traffic coming out on the other end. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Three yards is the gain that time. Second and goal. Straight ahead they go with McKinnon. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. Defensively, they must have been expecting a pass. They were in the dime look out there. I think maybe they were deciding to go with speed on the field rather than bulk. I'm with you a little bit surprising, but they wanted people getting to the ball as fast as possible. And that is caught for the touchdown, Kansas City. Jody Fortson. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth-quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. This one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here.
Herbert going to lead up the Chargers here first and 10 at their own 23. He'll hand off here to Eckler. And he maneuvers up the middle for three. And it's second down. Balled it to 26, second and seven. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Good work after the catch, gets him 15 and a first down. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. On first down, it's Herbert. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. <laughs> second down and a little more than a yard here. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he works free. Gets past one man. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. That good for 22 and a first down. Not only an explosive play, but an explosive run. I mean, broken tackles along the way to pick up that yardage. The way things kept churning for him. Feet were moving. The legs were driving. Looks like someone who spent his offseason working on hill work, running through sand. All the things that you want to build up those leg muscles. Herbert on first down now. Finds Johnston. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Herbert operating from the red zone. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20 yard line. Like a freight train there. Derek Nottie with a sack. But defensively, on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward. And how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah, what happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. On third down, here's Eckler. And this one will get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. Have to kick this field goal, don't you? No question about it. Look at the clock. Look at the situation. Kick the field goal. So the field goal unit is on the field, as this is a big spot right here. This to break our fourth quarter tie. And his kick here is good. And they have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And he'll elect 
back not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. And the Chiefs offense ready to go again. And now they find themselves trailing following the field goal. Still a good amount of time in this fourth quarter, but this drive very well could determine the outcome of this ball game. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Here's Pacheco headed right. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Connection made on the out route to Valdez Scantling. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. Well, this offense hasn't been at their best here. They've made some mistakes. They've been frustrated. They've been largely shut down. But then you look up and say, wait a second. This is a one-score game. So they're still very much in this. And they're on the move here with a first down. Mahomes now on first down. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. His favorite target, Travis Kelsey, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. Here's Mahomes to throw. He'll check this one down to Pacheco. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Here we go. This is fourth down. Now Mahomes got to have this one. That is caught. And now the rookie's free. And all the way in for the Kansas City touchdown. Rasheed Rice, 55 yards. And the Chiefs use the defensive breakdown to take the lead away here in the fourth. Still an important piece of business to take care of, the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. So the drive winds up going 75 yards in seven plays. And it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. the 20 to about the 22. Herbert and the Chargers 
Down by four. A minute 53 remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Field, they went underneath. Yeah, see if you can get it to your running back. See if you can make someone miss in the open field. Here comes second down and five. Throwing Herbert. And his throw here is incomplete. This defense hasn't had the best showing in this game, but a critical knockdown there. If they can hang on, I guess the end will kind of justify the need. Certainly, and just think of it this way. It may not be the quantity of the plays that they've had, because those haven't been great. But they get a few more quality ones like that, that could finish things off for them. Herbert. He'll get this to Eckler. And he is going to have the Chargers first down. They needed five there on third down. He winds up getting seven. Now a timeout called for by the offense as the clock stops here with 46 seconds left to play. Two timeouts still available in this final minute. It's first and ten now. Herbert to throw. He finds his target, Allen. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. Now Herbert. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. Here now, second and goal. Herbert now to throw. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. What a game this has been, and what a drive that was, Charles, to take the lead here late in the fourth quarter. And partner, that's a job well done by everyone, from the players to the guys calling the plays. And if I may introduce just one downside to the mix, might be a little bit too much time left. Enough on the clock for a final last-ditch effort to try and steal this win away. Extra point up and good by Dicker. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. After the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. Oh, 
And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. And now all eyes shift over to the Chiefs, trailing by a field goal, 30 seconds to go. And they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and 10. Stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. Two timeouts still in their back pocket. It's first and 10. Mahomes. And this one incomplete. So the clock stopped now with 20 seconds remaining. They'll try again here, second and 10. Mahomes. And that will be incomplete with a clock showing 18 seconds now to go. And now the focus is really clear. They need to get that first down and either get out of bounds or maybe use one of those timeouts. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Here's Mahomes. That's to the sideline and incomplete. This defense looking impenetrable now. Three straight incompletions. They're giving him nowhere to go with the football. Maybe a little frustrated back there. Oh, there's no doubt about it. When you've missed on three straight, there's going to be some frustration. But now he's got to make sure that that frustration is temporary, not lingering. Big throw coming up. Mahomes will throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Chiefs first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. This to potentially send us to overtime. And this one is no good. He missed it. And instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. Uh, we so often think of these kickers as automatic at any distance, and it's just not the case because when you start talking about 50-plus yards, it's still a tough one to connect on. This one ends up no good, and that should put to rest any chance of this game getting to overtime. formation time for the chargers they take an e and we will get a timeout with two ticks left and that one will go down in the books as just a one play drive and then three points tacked on to the end of it So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. Charles.